hi guys so good evening welcome back to my magical world i am frostbite and if you're new to my channel a uh, welcome to all the newbies out here and i'm here uh i'm here for you because uh <laughs> we're going to read guys <laughs> so more like reading session lang to and uh if you don't know i'm only i'm only filming like once because uh it's just that ganun na lang talaga guys so ayan it's 3:56 in the afternoon right now and today is thursday november 16 2023 ayan okay na so i'm just you know updating my channel and all of this so that uh, again purpose uh, i mean our goal is to like finish this book diba so we're going to proceed with that kasi i have been distracted for the past few weeks by a lot of things and a lot of people so we have a tab sub we have a subtopic here uh the wider community okay again page 190 to 191 of the book flow a person is a part of a family or a friendship to the extent he invests psychic energy in goals and shared with other people in the same way, one can belong to larger interpersonal systems by subscribing to the aspirations of a community, an ethnic group, a political party, or a nation. Some individuals, like the Mahatma, Gandhi, or Mother Teresa, invest all their, their psychic energy in what they construe to be the goals of humanity as a whole. So, if you don't know, these people are like... <laughs> Here in the Philippines, they are considered as saint, you know, Mother Teresa, diba? So, she has uh, made a lot of, uh, what, ano bang tawag na? <laughs> Charity work, ganun. So, something like that, guys. I remember we discussed her when we were in um, high school. Okay? So... In the ancient Greek usage, politics referred to whatever involved people in affairs that went beyond personal and family welfare. In this broad sense, politics can be one of the most enjoyable and most complex activities available to, to the individual. For the larger the social arena one moves in, the greater the challenges it presents. A person can deal with very intricate problems in solitude and family and friends can take up a lot of attention but trying to optimize the goals of unrelated individuals involves complexities on order of magnitude higher okay so okay lang kayo guys i'm not in a rush naman but kasi later um yan i need to go back home so i'm going to do um to finish things there so, unfortunately, many people who move in public arena do not act at very high levels of complexity. Politicians tend to seek power, philanthropist, fame, and would-be saints often seek to prove how righteous they are. These goals are not so hard to achieve, provided one invests enough energy in them. The greater challenge is not only to benefit oneself but to help others in the process. It is more difficult but more but much more fulfilling for the politician to actually improve social conditions for the philanthropist to help out the destitute and for the saint to provide a viable model of life to others. If we consider only mat material consequences, we might regard selfish politicians as skinny because they try to achieve wealth and power for themselves but if we accept the fact that optimal experience is what gives real value to life then we must conclude that politicians who strive to realize the common good are actually smarter because they are taking on the higher challenges and thus have a better chance to experience real enjoyment yan so breathe in <laughs> inhale exhale guys <laughs> so, yeah. Any involvement in the public realm can be enjoyable provided one structures it according to the flow parameters. It does not matter whether one starts to work with the Cub Scouts or with a group exploring the great books or trying to preserve a clean environment or supporting the local union. What counts is to set a goal to concentrate one psychic energy to pay attention to the feedback and to... 
certain that the challenge is appropriate to one's skill. Sooner or later, the interaction will begin to hum and the flow experience follows. Of course, given the fact that psychic energy is in limited supply, one cannot expect that everyone will be able to become involved in public goals. Some people have to devote all their attention just to survive in a hostile environment. Others get so involved with a certain set of challenges with art, for instance, or mathematics that they can't bear to shift any attention away from it. But life would be harsh indeed if some people did not enjoy investing psychic energy in common concerns, thereby creating synergy in the social system. The concept of flow is useful not only in helping individuals improve the quality of their lives, but also in pointing out how public action should be directed. Perhaps the most powerful effect flow theory could have in a public sector is in providing a blueprint for how institutions may be reformed so as to make them more conducive to optimal experience. In the past few centuries, economic rationality has been so successful that we have, that we have come to take for granted that the bottom line of any human effort is to measure it in dollars and cents. But on an exclusively economic approach to life is profoundly irrational. The true bottom line consists in the quality and complexity of experience. Ayan. So, focus lang guys, kasi ganito talaga yung reading. I mean, when you're reading a book, not all of it is entirely important. Okay, so just pick up all the good shit, all the good things, all the things that resonated to your experience. Kasi... Uh, that is how it is. Okay? But for sure, there is something out here that is that you can take away. A community should be judged, should be judged good, not because it is technolo technologically advanced or swimming in material riches. It is good if it offers people a chance to enjoy as many aspects of their lives as possible while allowing them to develop their potential in the pursuit of even of ever greater challenges similarly the value of a school does not depend on its prestige or its ability to train students to face up to the necessities of life but rather on the degree of the enjoyment of lifelong learning it can transmit a good factory is not necessarily the one that makes the most money but the one that is most responsible for improving the quality of life for its workers and customers so when you see like successful company actually they are giving more because their service is quality and people needs it so don't like look at them like oh it's just a money-making machine company like i'm not saying no man like every uh, single thing is like that but oh there are really companies that are really beneficial for us diba? so i know uh you really have to have the discernment to syempre acknowledge then uh, acknowledge then yung mga ganong kay uh, ganong types of company and the true function of of politics is not to make people more affluent safe or powerful but to let as many as possible enjoy an increasingly complex existence our existence alone alone here is complex kasi uh, you, first of all you don't have a choice if you are already in here just gotta swim in this game of life okay you really have you really need to find the flow and to do your best to survive and be um, successful if you don't want to be successful maybe you just want to have like a good life so it's already a win okay whatever you want guys okay i'm just saying that hopefully when you're when we are still alive we could actually enjoy all the fruits of of god <laughs> Ayan. But no social change can come about until the consciousness of individuals is fr is changed first. When a young man asked Carlyle how he should go about reforming the world, Carlyle answered, Reform yourself. The way there will be one less rascal in the world, the advice is still valid. Those who try to make life better for everyone without having learned to control their own lives first usually end up making things worse all around sa simpleng salita guys 
it all starts with yourself in you you gotta root you need to root for yourself nobody else okay you need to trust yourself trust that all your work and hard work will pay off okay so wag lang iasa lahat sa swerte although me as a person i'm extremely lucky for so many reasons but you know um iba pa rin talaga yung when you're a product of a hard when you're I mean, your daily basis is a product of hard work. It is not something that uh, other people can tell that, oh, oh it's just luck, ganun, ganun. It's not like that. So, really, for me, uh, maganda pa rin yung ganun. Yung, uh, you're gaining something because of your hard work. Okay? So, ayan, guys. Thank you, guys, for listening to my afternoon-ish. <laughs> afternoon-ish. <laughs> so, later, I'm going back home na. Um, I don't know. Maybe I will go somewhere else. Don't know yet. So, ayan. Uh, focus na tayo dito sa book again. Let's not discuss about um, my all my distractions. Let's just forget it for now. Okay? And you need, this is me reminding you to really focus on your purpose again it's the end of the year na so make sure to wrap up all those shit if doesn't if that job if your job if your location doesn't serve you well okay you can always move somewhere else where it could be a lot beneficial to you okay so don't settle for less or and also do what makes you happy ganon talaga you really hide you really need to find your happiness kasi para ano mo yan eh um compass to where you need to be and where you need to go got it <laughs> ayan na so again good afternoon thank you guys for listening and thank you for helping me make this world a better place for all of us and for the future generation nasa ano ako ngayon sa stock room <laughs> Again, goodbye and I will see you again.